Hello, Paul is the best for UK here. Happy Thursday, and welcome to today's game of day video. Now, today's game is a game called Final Lap Special. This is in the horizontal form factor. We explained yesterday about the horizontal and vertical games. So, this is by Namco and by Bandai. So, let's have a look at this. It's 2001. Start the game. So, we've got a choice of Formula One, GT, VS Mode, Garage, Extra Game. It's just a quick game of day. I'm only going to go for formula mode. I might do a GT mode as well, so we can just have a look at quick differences. Let's start with formula mode. Okay, so that nice picture of formula one kind of background. We've got formula, championship, and time attack. I'm just going to go for championship. I'll do these games mainly so you can see what they look like. So let's have a go for rookie league and let's start the game. So now you get a choice of cars. You've got the blue one, the red one, the green one, and question mark. That's probably an unlockable one. But they've all got different characteristics. So this blue one's got the max speed, but the acceleration isn't great. I'll go. I'm going to go for the green because that's balanced. And uh, yeah, let's start the game. So you can't choose your course because it's a championship mode, so you have to go for it. Okay. Ooh, this looks a bit like mode seven on the SNES. I don't know if it is, but let's 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 see how it plays. Okay, it's not quite the same as mode seven now, but yeah, this quite impressive in it for a handheld. So yep, so we're cruising along in our Formula 1 now. Graphics are nice, you've got some nice horizon there, you've got like, the sunset in the background and stuff. Is that the sunset? I think it is. And like nice red sky, like purple clouds and stuff. The scenery looks good, you've got, you got your green grass and you've got like the signpost whizzing by. So nice comfortable frame rate. Might look a bit pixelated on this game of day video, but if uh, you can imagine this on a a, a, sm a very small handheld, the size of a Game Boy, or just a bit bigger than a Game Boy, and uh, yeah, it would have looked apart. So I've got this screen, I've got the screen stretched quite a lot, so you can see it in this in the video. Um, it might look a bit more blocky than the actual system, which still looks good on this. I think uh, not too bad, not too bad of a game. There's no music in game. I've just noticed, um, just the uh, engine noise. So yeah, not too bad of a game for your handheld system here by Namco. Same people who made Time Crisis, Ridge Racer, that kind of thing. Right, I still haven't even got past any cars yet. I'm still eighth place. There we go. So you've got the mirrors at the back. The mirrors will just show you the cars. They do not show you any of the scenery. So you've got your two mirrors there. In the top you've got your map. It shows you where your position is in relative to the other drivers as well. Like on a little radar thing. It seems to play quite well. I seem to have trouble catching up with the other drivers there. Right. This is just a circular track as you can see. Oh you fuck. So much laps is this? Three laps. So we're at fifth place and it's three laps. So I've got a lot of work to do to get to first, you know. I don't think I'm going to make it, to be honest, I'm on the final lap and I've still got to get past five cars. Don't think I'm going to make it, but we'll see what happens. So I hope everyone's having a good Thursday afternoon, or Thursday evening, should I say. I notice a light, we're getting lighter nights now, so the, it's staying light for longer. And then in March, when you get the uh, last Sunday of changing the clocks, this this is applied to uh, UK people, by the way. Um, change the clocks on the last Sunday of March and then we get the really light lights which I like I prefer the summer months I just don't like the horrible wasps and flies and shit right okay so f third so we're not gonna make first we made third so let's see how, how we do so I've got like a bottle of champagne here um, and so it has gone to round two then so you don't have to get to first to qualify so as you can see on round two, we've got some different graphics now, more of a city environment, and we can see like the city in the background, in the horizon. It's a nice bit of variety to the look of game on each level. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit out, and uh, I'm going to think game over. I'm going to go for the GT mode this time, see if it's any different. So GT mode, I go for championship. Oh, you get some night. There's only one car you can choose from at the minute. So let's let's go for this. And uh, I can choose your course on this mode as well, that's cool. Let's try this. Let's try this crazy looking one. Okay, so this is a GT mode.
So first thing I've noticed we've got um, different engine sound which is good. They're basically the same game but with different cars. It's basically, the, and you've got some hills and stuff. I don't know if the hills are present on the Formula 1 mode but... Whoa! So yeah, not too bad of a game for your handheld system of 2001 or whenever it was made. So, whoa, some quite crazy bends and stuff. Quite a nice 3D engine isn't it? This has got good draw distance. It's not Mod 7, it's not in the style of Mod 7 either. It's, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good to be honest. Not bad of a game. Runs at a nice frame rate and yeah, it seems really good. So on that note, I'm going to give this one um, 8 out of 10. Seems quite fun to play actually. So uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Goodbye!